Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. My name is Acronix and today we are building a layout in 30 minutes. Now, to start with, uh, I have a timer with me that is going to pop up on the screen in the, in the next two seconds. There it is. Okay, so here is our little timer that is going to start ticking down to zero, which it already is doing because I'm stupid. Anyways, I have half an hour to do this layout, essentially, and what I'm going to do now is just wait for it to count down to zero. So I have two minutes for preparation, basically. I'm going to put another timer on my phone just so that I, I'm sure that, like, I'm not going off track, let's say. I don't know. So let's actually, like, start, I guess. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is obviously make a new level, call it something very creative, obviously. Ew, big, it sounds like a pretty cool name. Now for the song. I honestly don't know, neither do I really care about the song. Let's just use Soul Snatcher. Oh wait, obviously my in-game volume is low. Okay, there we go. Cool, and now... Okay, cool, let's just keep that as a starting time. Let's say it's a like a one-time speed because it's like gonna go ahead straight into the drop so we don't really need to think about that too much. I will see you guys in 40 seconds. Hello once again, exactly 40 seconds later and as you can see the time has now started. So let's start building the layout. Um, I'm not, honestly not gonna make it look good like alpha triggers and anything because I, I'm on a time limit. Okay. Uh, just put like a jump pad on this like as like a micro pre-drop. And when we do that, we could just be like go into a three times speed section. We're just gonna do that so it fits better. Okay, whatever. Honestly, like the sink, it's I, I don't know. Okay, wait. Let's move that over here a bit. That works. Well, I wanted to make the jump like a little bit smaller, to be honest. So I could do a little something like this. Yeah to like minimize the jump power so uh we could just copy and paste a bit of these okay so i, I want the blue jump pads to like finish around here so i could put uh like a, a, a transition so i can make a transition uh into the drop with like uh pink jump pads okay so we could just extend these by a bit and then copy paste this let's say there we go this seems to be very working out quite well as as i say as i said we're not even at the drop yet. we're like in, in the first five seconds of the layout which means that obviously this is not like my best effort so far i mean obviously i'm gonna put in more effort in the drop which we're getting into right now so yeah okay that doesn't work why did i do that that was very stupid micro bug fix type of thing cool now I want the drop to be four times speed because that's typically what drops happen to be, kind of. So we could do a little something like this and then move it up there to make it fit your actual icon when it flies up, which that did not just happen. Uh, I don't know, I don't even know what you call this. Like a, kind of like a gravity switch blue or black or portal transition. This Thing. Okay, cool. Just to like have that. Yeah, sure, that works, kind of. Okay, so we have this. And now we need a. Uh, I can do a little spam section on the UFO. Like, not that much of a spam, but like. Okay, so we could like minimize this a bit and then make it like this. Okay, so we have this, and then what I wanted to do here is kind of like as a transition out of the UFO, kind of like a jump jump ring where you have to like hit the jump ring, like that. I, I think I have an idea. So we can do this, obviously minimize all the portals because it looks nice, but why am I doing this? I'm on a time limit. I thought of trying this out for a while. That works pretty good, but you have to like hold down here if that makes sense. So stuff like this works. Now we could do something like this to transition out of that, which is like a, it's literally nothing. It's like a auto jump, but it makes you transition out of it easier because it's, 
because it's a holding click and transitioning out of holding clicks is very painful sometimes so okay so i could do that a bit earlier this might start looking a bit like speed for gameplay and then we could do something like this Now what I actually want to do here... No, actually my idea will be, will be kept for later. Uh, what I actually wanted, wanted to do here now is uh, a transition from the cube into a sort of like a wave, kind of. But for that I wanted to do... Because two like uh, automatic jump clicks would be like weird in a way so i wanted to transition out of it with like a spider click let's say let's just put that there put like a simple little thing over here and move it over to here so you can actually land on it because since the reverse gravity it will land there and automatically bounce off of that onto the jump pad that we are going to create over here now this this is uh yeah, I guess this works. As, as long as the gameplay works, it's fine. We, we're not looking at the visuals here. Okay, the thing that's annoying is that like you click at the very, very end of the actual platform, so we could just move that a bit over there to make it look a bit more like that. Or, 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 I have a better idea. We could move all of this like over here. Uh, I, I remember when I said that I wanted to make it a wave well, I take that back because no, because we don't have time for that. Uh, instead, I wanted to do this cool little like thing that I, it's not that I learned it like a minute ago. I already knew how to do this. It's just that it's, it plays nicely. So you basically just hit this and hold it. And here you hold out as a, as a cube again. So you kind of like, uh, let's put it over here closer to that. So it's more consistent uh, and yeah. A bit like maybe like that sure okay because you hold out of it and then you automatically jump out well you see that doesn't work so what we're gonna do is we're gonna push it a bit over here like if you get what I mean this this is what I was talking about uh, like this because this looks nice I mean now you know me I like my wave transitions to be always normal gravity I find it annoying to transition into a wave at reverse gravity and then retransition it while it's like flying upwards to put like a portal over here to mess up its gravity once again. So I'm doing one of these like auto clicks, which actually feel really good to do, like to go through if it's a little amount of them. Like if they're like on every single click of the level, then it's obviously going to get annoying, but I'm spacing it out with actual clicks. Okay, so here, and now we have ourselves a wave transition into here, let's say. So let me just put that over there and then we'll do something like this so that you have a really, so that you have a smaller jump. Yeah, okay, that works now. This, this works a lot better. Okay. So we're just going to transition into it like this, as you can see, because the line is, it's, it's, like, it's like a straight line at this segment right here, which helps out a lot when you're transitioning into stuff like the wave, because it's not like you're transitioning into it like under an angle, which could be annoying. Actually, instead of making like six CPS spam sections, I want to space it out a bit and make it like, I mean, I don't know, like two clicks instead of three over here maybe because that would be like annoying to do maybe a bit hard okay so we just like do this to nerf it down a bit to make it more enjoyable to do i automatically like click right away so we're just gonna move this back up here and to the side because we don't want to hit it we, we don't want to hit that like as we're transitioning into it and here we could like this is fine, like we don't need to nerf it anymore because that would just like mess up the structure, not the structuring, but like you get the point, it would it would not look like, it would not be consistent, so yeah. Okay, so this is good, this is pretty good so far. Uh, we could like buff this by like a tiny little bit. Okay, wait, what, what did I do? Get me back, get me back, get me back, okay cool, thank you. 
Now we transition out of it with a, like this is my classic transition out of any wave part, just like a, a pink jump orb sort of cube thing. Okay, so this is annoying because if you click too early, it doesn't actually work. Okay, how about we just move this a bit to the side over here? And I just noticed that we're, that we're more than halfway through, which is... Uh, yep, yeah, it's a problem. <laughs> okay, so this works, but like, again, the transition into the wave is like extremely janky. So sometimes I hold there and it doesn't like actually work, so what I'm gonna do is just put a jump orb over there to make the transition more consistent, because sometimes I let go before I actually click on it. Okay, that doesn't work really well. Well, at least this works, right? At least it works, at least it's fine. I was thinking of putting it a bit higher as well to like avoid touching the ground too much, so yeah, this, and then move this, uh, actually I'll keep it here, I just need to move this out of the way then, like that, and move this over here, okay, to make it more consistent, obviously. Okay, so now I have an idea that I can implement. I wanted to make uh, this sort of like transition with J blocks so that you don't bounce off, and then over here I wanted to put a a gravity change portal and then I wanted to do like a few uh, clicks with like pink jump orbs if that makes sense like this kind of like that but we'll see how that works okay so now obviously I need to fix that so put it over here, over here. Okay, so I could just put like a few of these jump orbs like that. Yeah, see, so that works really well. Except the fact that it doesn't... It sinks, but not that well. And that's kind of annoying. So honestly, I don't even care how much... I, because normally I'm a perfectionist, and I can cal calculate exactly how many times I move an object. Like, by how many spaces. And I'm annoyed if I like randomly just move them for no reason. So, yeah. Okay, so that works pretty well. Oh god. Okay, so there's the problem. I'm jumping off the side of this. So what I suggest uh, myself that I should do is make the size of this like larger. So there's no chance of me jumping on the side of it. What I think now I should do is do like a really short little like... A really short uh, ball section. Uh, I'll explain as I actually build it because there's not much time once again. <laughs> what I wanted to do with the ball section is to kind of like make a little platform so I can jump off of it and immediately do two clicks which would be like uh, a blue orb so you jump off and then you immediately change gravity back again and a pink orb so like two random clicks. Also yeah okay that's fine th th this is fine this is okay. Okay, so this works, except I'm thinking of, uh, to make it more synced, once again, to sync it up well, I'm gonna put that over here, like, closer to it, so that you could click twice, like, really like, rapidly. Okay, so the thing here is now that I can sk actually skip these blocks, so I'm gonna move them over a bit to make the transition more consistent, I guess. So this is what I wanted to experiment with, to, like kind of like change the UFO's gravity. Actually that no, 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 no. I have a better idea. Now we can make a robot section. Now we can actually make a robot section because we have the correct kind of like, I don't even know what to say anymore, dude. We're 10, 10 minutes left, 11 minutes left, one third of the way left and we have like nothing. This is great. What did I just do? What, my game crashed? What just happened? <laughs> Thank you.